John Abel, I'm wondering how you help big corporations and very intelligent people help learning stick. This is a, an issue um, that uh, people come to you about, especially when people are concerned that multitasking is going to make people too scattered. But a lot of what you do is all about multitasking. Uh, that's actually a classic controversial topic, uh, particularly for children. Can and should children multitask? Uh, the, the latest scientific theories are they can and they should because it becomes necessary to survive in today's world. Uh, uh, for example, babies or, or toddlers learning two languages at once hmm. or three, uh, it turns out they can handle them very, very well. Uh, there's a lot of in the world of neuroscience uh, on that that uh, if, if uh, any of the audience are parents today, they ought to read. <laughs> <laughs> you also talk about collaboration, and it's not just about getting the best minds together, which is one thing to raise the bar, but it's also about mindset you talk about. So what are, let's say, three of the most important qualities of mindset to open people to learning and, and, um, and it to innova innovation? Well, I I in a group, how one expresses a concern or an idea will uh, stack the deck for how everyone thinks about the question they just raised. It's kind of obvious. We know that, but we don't practice it. It's a little bit like uh, uh, Getting to Yes, the mm -hmm. famous book about collaboration, in fact, and the fact that an uh, awful lot of people get trapped into an emotional uh, 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 expression that in fact will turn others off. So they will respond in an emotional way rather than uh, a curious way, which is keeping the mind open, exploring all the dimensions of, of the issue. And in the process of exploring all the dimensions of the issue, you're likely to come across some surprises. And if you have a diverse audience, diverse thinkers, diverse cultures, diverse experience, uh, you're likely to come up with looking at the problem upside down, which turns out to be right side up. <laughs> okay. And, and finally, just quickly, you know, uh, corporate pay. I think that for us normal people, we just, it's so far and away above what we can imagine. We, we don't get it. Is it a sustainable model for America and American business, these very large figures that have made you a great success story? But um, It certainly has gotten way out of hand and in my mind, sets a terrible example. But then again, so does our political system. Uh, and if I had a better solution, I'd, I'd, I'd propose it. But uh, pay is certainly certainly an issue. And, but I, 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 I am a believer in capitalism. But I think the rules of capitalism, and there's a lot of people proposing some interesting changes, are going to change. We're going to get away from quarterly capitalism, the th thing that goes on in short-term thinking, mm. which is not good for uh, uh, the organizations as, as well as the society as a whole. And uh, those are going to be important factors. Well, we look forward to seeing what some of your collaborations come up with. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Enjoyed it.